Center Bocce Challenge 2019. Tom Nappy alongside Mike Terosian on the call. Bob Hamilton on camera. Right now it's the coin flip. We'll have the seniors matchup to start things off here at the annual Senior Center Bocce Throwdown. Heads was the call. And I believe we got heads. So we have determined what team will throw first. We'll also have the Hopkinton Fire Department and Police Department in today's event. They'll be playing against each other as well as the winning senior team here. Well, hey Tom, just got back here. I was just helping with the refreshments. Yeah, you were eating them. Uh, I was helping. I had to make sure they uh, asked me to if I could help with the quality control of them. The watermelon is extra juicy. I don't know where they could have got it from. That is so juicy. But um, we got a small crowd here, and I'm trying to get the roster. You got a roster? I do not. We'll listen into the rules down well, we here got, at the Bocce those, Court. I'll get the rules from my Hank. And Dottie's up first. Uh, Dottie uh, throws out the Polito and, of course, the first ball. And look at that lie. What a beautiful lie. Good way to start things off. So now uh, Judy, uh, representing the senior center staff, is up. Yeah, a little too much mustard on that ball. Red throws again. Phil McConney for the staff there. He's going to try and bounce it off the side. And now, and now here's Lisa. Dion. Lisa Dion, representing the staff. She's going to throw out the last red. And oh, oh, look at that, Tom. Just a little too much. Just a little bit. Right in there, though. Lisa's one of our outreach workers. And she's, we've been keeping her very busy since she came on board about how many months ago? Well, there's definitely enough to do here, yep. for sure. And, this so, uh, and John's our groundskeeper. John, yeah, we know. That's all he does is rake. <laughs> I never hear him complain. All he does is rake, rake, rake. And now uh, for the seniors to get some points here is... Donna. Donna. And look at that. That's going to roll right in. Hank Alessio on the call down there, the umpire. John, other than Rake, is uh, keeping up with the protocol here for the game, making sure everyone goes back and forth. So I we have and Dottie, Dottie's up. Oh. I believe it's the seniors against the staff for this matchup here. Seniors have the green, so and what they, the staff has the red. Yeah, and normally what they do is they would have a staff and a senior at one end and staff and senior at the other end so it can go back and forth. So I don't know what they're going to do here. Yeah, we're trying to figure out who throws next. There's two balls left. You each get one and then figure it out. I thought we were going to have to go to commercial there for a second time. Yeah, I did too. Or All right. uh, replay officials. So I think what they're doing in the, in, is yeah. in the New York booth. Oh, there's a good roll. So that looks like three points now for the seniors. 
And here comes our last green ball. Ooh, that and that four? creeps right in. Nope. Oh, oh, just outside. So they get three. All right, so we're going to score them with three, and we're going to go ahead and... All right, so we're going to pick up these balls and uh, see if we can get this organized. All righty. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Well, there's a good roll to start things out for the green team. Here's the staff team. A little too much on that one. Right in there. We might need a measurement. Nope. The official says Green still has it. Hank Alessio, the official. Hank Alessio, once again, the official today. just outside. Bob, did you ever play any bocce back in the day? I never did and now I know why. And there you have it folks, Bob oh, Hamilton. Yeah, a little too much there. That was John Palmer. John Palmer shot that last one. Here's a good one. Oh, knocks the red outside even more. It's the green definitely in the inside now. Ooh, maybe another green one inside. Yep, right in there. Yeah, there's two for green so far. We're going to try to add on more points here. Slow ruler. So it looks like two for green. We're going to get a measurement. So one point for green. One more point for green. So the staff getting dominated early on.
Four nothing is our score. As we enter into frame three of the Bocce World Championships. <laughs> From the Bocce capital of the world, the Hopkinton Senior Center. go again into the next frame. So we're gonna have to throw the Polino once again. It's too close to the wall, says our official Hank Alessio. Mike Tarosian's back. Yes, I'm back. I just had to uh, go inside and had to check on the rules and the rest of the food, which is fantastic. Anyways, uh, besides that, no, I had to get the official roster because there was a little, uh, you know, they were worried about which whose turn is and how they're going to throw it and whatever. So each team have four members. That means everyone has a ball. And being seniors, they're getting their exercises in, so they're going to play one side at a time. So that's why it's a little tough, and they're all standing in the way of Bob on camera. Right? And we met you with Bob Hamilton, who uh, should be playing for one of the seniors' teams, but uh, I heard he aged. I heard he aged out of it. Yeah, he's he's out with a shoulder injury. Yeah. Oh, shoulder! I thought I thought they said he was too old. Mm -hmm. So, um, so anyways, that's why we get everyone standing in front of our camera view. Normally, if they had the teams, I could keep them spread out, but there's no telling these these guys what to do. So, so uh, Green is. Uh, is leading for nothing. The staff is trying to get on the board, and uh, what does COA stand for? That's a uh, uh, Council on Aging. Ah, okay. Council on Aging. And so Hank, staff. Hank's out there taking measures to find out who's closest, because whoever's closest, the other team throws. So. Okay. Oh, hold on. Rebecca. This is Rebecca. Remember, this is open. This oh, is our open house. This is open house day. There's yeah, another Rebecca's reason. I'm going to tell you what's happening inside. All right. So, anyways, we have Judy Alessio with us, and Rebecca, who is running this whole open house operation, is no, going to tell us no, about no, everything. No, 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 okay. No, just the exercise. Oh, okay. She told, she told me you were running everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fine. So, uh, what's going on inside? So, today at 3 o'clock, we're going to do a uh, Zumba Gold class, uh, like a mini class, yeah. just so people can see what Zumba Gold is all about. Mm -hmm. Then, we're doing a tap dance demo. And then at 4 o'clock, we'll have a bar class. And then at 5 o'clock, we have pound. So a bar class, that's not like you're mixing the drinks. It's actually like no, lifting. No, oh, lift no. it. No, it's no. the exercise bar. Exercise. Because these seniors like to have fun, you know. you got to be careful with these guys. I know. I, I had to ask that question because you never know. Exercise first, yep. then fun later. Then fun later. Excellent. So now you're doing this today, but you don't just don't do it today. Mondays, we have Zumba at 1.30 yep. p.m. Tuesdays we have tap at 2 p.m. And then actually on Wednesdays, it just happens to be the day of the open house, sure. we have bar at 4, followed by pound at 5, and then there's yoga also at 6. I don't do yoga. Holy good. Oh, you don't do the I yoga. Do yoga. yoga. I, I don't do yoga either. That's if, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. So, yeah. <laughs> the, um, so, and this isn't your only thing that you do. I mean, this is your business, your livelihood. I'm a fitness instructor, but I'm actually uh, the fitness wellness director at Milford Senior Center, okay. but I also work here uh, for Hopkinton Senior Center. I'm in Medway and uh, Hopedale as well. Excellent. So, yeah. so, so you, you get around and you, you cover the whole area because, yeah. you know, these senior centers, I noticed, they, they do a lot of networking with their services so and, and their staff and, and events, which is fantastic. Because I, I hear about the trips all going to Holliston yeah. to see the uh, orchestra play and whatever. So there's, there's a lot of uh, joint operations with the senior centers, and that's fantastic. And seeing you coming out. I'm sure they love it too. Oh, yeah. We have a, a walking club um, in all these different senior centers as well. So we try to meet up with each senior, senior center and, and take a trip together. And we're always trying to network. So. Oh, well, that's outstanding. Well, thank you very much for all you do, and we'll uh, see you inside. All right. Maybe I'll maybe, maybe I'll put my tap shoes on. Yeah, I have extra shoes, so Excellent. come down and try. All right, <laughs> I need extra wide. All right, thank you, Tom. All right. Well, the Council of Aging has earned another point. It's 5 nothing over the staff. There's some great roles in that last go-around. 
Well, yeah, the staff is still trying to get on the board here and they're being taken here. It just goes to show how often that this court, oh, go ahead, walk on by, you're fine. Just don't trip over the wires and the roots, you'll be great. So th this, this court gets used, it's well loved. Uh, this court was put in a few years ago uh, as an Eagle Scout project. I try to remember the scout's name off the top of my head. I know it's inside. They got a nice little dedication to him. And he did a great job. He made this beautiful uh, court, and it gets used all the time. And you can tell because there's not a single weed in it or around it. This is right. well maintained. It certainly is. And it's in perfect condition for today's bocce challenge yep and we got uh phil giving a toss here for the senior center i think that's phil yeah that's phil oh Ooh, i think he got in he got in so the green's gonna have to do some work now phil rakes it so he knows this way oh that's time. john john is the raker john palmer he uh he, he's good they're all good they they do a good job here um but I tell you, these seniors, they do use this coil. Look at this, right off. Look at that, Bam. a spark. Nice spark. But I think red still has the red point. Still has the point. Yeah, I just moved a little closer. And it's hard for us to tell, too, because right here from there, it looks like the green's closer. But, um, you know, Hank's right on top of it, and he does have the roll. Remember he had the stick before? He used to pull out the stick and, right. and measure it. Now he's got a real ruler. Oh, it looks like green is in with two, maybe. A new addition to the uh, rules this year here. They're worried about what line to step over. Now, all these people are playing back. But you can go up to the, uh, I believe that orange marker, that's 10 feet. Look at this. Oh, oh. what a Spock. Of course, Spock is when you smash into another ball on the court. It's a great strategy. I don't know how that came about. Spock just doesn't... I mean, I'm a Trekkie, so I'm thinking, why, why, why? I'm also a father. Never read Dr. Spock's book, but I knew he wrote one. Well, I saw that book at your desk, The Art of Spocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, you got to stay up on all these uh, rule changes there, because um, this bocce is an international sport, and it's uh, well played here in Hopkins. Yeah, I understand when you're down in Miami, you took your bocce books to make sure that you're ready for today. I did. I had to study. The roster change is the only thing that screwed me up because it was a last-minute fill-ins. And it uh, looks like the green just keeps on going, and they're at six. Six for the Council on Aging. Oh, we've got new scorekeepers and everything this year. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're they're trying to sneak something by on us, aren't they? And look, 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 who, look who's joining me now. He's uh, getting his getting himself uh, ready for for the match. Is uh, is the manager for the red team, Chief Slamming Chief? Um, you got your boys picked out for today? We uh, I let them do their own selection since they're defending champions. Yep. I felt like it would be meddling into a success story if I did that. So they're over there right now organizing. And I uh, noticed that last year's phenomenon, newbie. Uh, Dee Rivera? John. John. Yes. He's on duty today. He's Yes. Yes. Yeah. We had to reassign a few people to make sure we got the right people so on the he, court. So he's going to be here, and uh, I, I heard he's going to be basically anchoring the team. Well, he's on the availability list. Let's be, you know, I have not announced my starting lineup oh. yet, so oh. we've got a little bit of work still, and I, I don't so, know that I'm going to be doing I'm sorry, that. ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Fire Chief Bill Belichick <laughs> of the Hockey <laughs> Fire Department Bocce team. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're gonna play that one, huh? I'm just saying. Is this is this why? Is this why I? Uh, I'm I've not been sure why you're trying to get me to play my hand out right now. I, 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 I don't <laughs> say you know where my hat lies. Red, yeah, red, yeah, yeah. red or dead? You know yeah. me. Yeah. I try to reach uh, Chief Lee. Have you Lee. posted the police department's lineup yet? I try to get Chief oh, Lee okay. to interview, and he's failed to call like me back. news to me. That's what I'm hearing. Huh? <laughs> Chief Lee's failed to call me back all day okay. today. All yeah. right. I even saying. showed up at his office. He, <laughs> he, he went out the window down that down the bat pole in the back of the police station. Oh. So how's the seniors looking? I tell you, they are looking good. They croak at the staff. They're up by uh, 6 nothing here. Whoa. And, and they're getting their exercise, Steve. If yeah. you notice, everyone's playing on one side. So when the balls are all played, oh. they take a walk, pick them up, and then go down the other side and yep. play. You know, so they're a much healthier team than what the fires used to practice again.
I love watching a new staff team come in thinking like this is pretty easy, and then they get their little awakening call. So, yeah, nice to hear. yeah, Lisa here is brand new yeah. outreach worker. Um, she said, "Oh yeah, piece of cake." But now look, she's realizing the struggle. The struggle's real. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Alicio was treating them kindly, but you know, we'll see. Hank doesn't treat anyone kind. <laughs> when he has that ruler in his hand, yes. he, you, you don't exist. Has the ruler been out already? Yes. Ruler's been out three times. <laughs> he even put out the 10-foot oh. stake. <laughs> last year we saw Mr. Palmer and him get into it a little bit on one of the rulings, so I'm not sure. You know. They got heated on the second R ball really? here. And it, yeah, oh. it was who was going to throw next. Oh. It was a heat. All we, right, so we left off there. Huh? Pretty much the same, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It so, might be a fight or two today. Oh boy! <laughs> so this is this is basically each side. It's one ball per person. You know, compared All to right. when you split up the team, it's gotcha. two balls per people. And is my mummy out here yet? I am she is not. I, I already checked the store, but I see uh, Mrs. Hayward has got the store today. Okay. So I did not see her inside. Unless she's supposed she's, to be here, but I'm going to do a little walkthrough if that's yeah, all right. Yeah, she may be getting ready for Zumba. Why don't you go in there for <laughs> Zumba Gold? You'll be ready. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. I believe the fire so departments won what two years in a row? No, they won last year. The police beat them two years in a row, so I believe the the score now is three to two, uh, fire uh, over police. Ah, if I'm not mistaken, well, I have to check my records. Council of Aging leads eight to nothing over the staff. The staff so, was on the in yeah, for a while. Well, I need to uh, talk to Alessio about the rules here, uh, Mr. Alessio. So, this council on aging team is starting to smoke the staff. We got an eight nothing lead. Is there a mercy rule in Bungie? <laughs> I don't know. Is there? You should. Do I have to? Do I have to talk to Mr. Palmer? Well, that should be a local rule, but those rules are passed before games start. Oh, so I was wondering because I you started the rules before I told you we were on TV, so I didn't catch the rules. You're supposed maybe, to wait for the cue from the director. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. Next I'm time. So sorry. Next, <laughs> next year. Next year. <laughs> next. All right. Well, here, let's shh, be quiet. Here, here's someone a very important throw right here. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, nice. Oh. All right. Red is in. Green throws. Wow. That that was a little scary one there for Judy. Yeah. She's been throwing them. Yeah. A mile a minute. Mile a minute. Yeah. Well, hopefully she doesn't see that bad comment on the replay later. <laughs> all right, so there was no mercy rule, Tom, set up ahead of time, so this is going to go all the way. Oh, boy. Green is back in. Staff has some work to do to get back into this one. Yeah, they do. I believe it's up to, what, 15, win by two? Yes, we're by two. <laughs> Phil with a throw a little hard, and Steph, outreach worker Lisa, is uh, going to make a nice toss. She's uh, brand new to this event, and she doesn't play like she is. Oh, look at uh, that. Red's in. Red's in. Might see a Spock attempt here. Yeah. So this here is uh, uh, Ted representing the uh, seniors on the Council of Aging. Ooh. Uh, it's a little slow, a little too much here. Looks Run. like Red might get yeah. a point. Well, no, Green still has a couple left. Yeah, Red. Well, Red does have one, so this is, uh, I believe, Rita. Rita's looking. Oh, she's going with she's the trying angle. trying to angle it. She going to sneak it in with a bounce? No? Wow, Red gets their first point. Let's see if they can get two. Let's see if uh, John Palmer can, can uh, make number two for the seniors. And I think he played that one safe. And, uh, uh, I, th I think he played that one safe. Look at that. The wow. staff has their first point of the day. Eight to one. 
So staff mounting their comeback, cutting the seniors lead down by seven. Yeah. <laughs> so that means the staff will get their first chance to throw in the Polino out. They're getting right back in there. And it looks like Judy will uh, make the honorary toss, and that means she's going to throw the first ball. Good and the ball, throw yeah, there. the ball does go past the center point. And we don't know where Judy was throwing that one. Judy, the idea is to get close to the white ball. <laughs> so, all right, so you avoided a shutout now, okay? What is your plan to get 14 more points? Yeah. I have no idea. It's going to be pure luck, I'm telling pure, you. Pure luck? Yeah, pure luck. All right. Oh, Donna, look at, look at that. Donna. We're, we're done. We're finished. Yeah, yeah. You, you have something. Well, you know, here's the thing. From what I understand, because I, I, I've been asking around, the seniors use this, not the staff, right? Correct. <laughs> it is true. You, you, don't, you don't get to just we, pop out here anytime. We were out here for one hour yesterday. That was it. We you learned how to play yesterday. You learned how to play yesterday. <laughs> Actually, Phil, Phil. Phil and John have got more experience. Oh play. sure, absolutely. I mean, John's <laughs> John's the rake master. He knows every he knows every curve, every pebble oh, on this maybe, court. Maybe he altered the yeah, ooh, maybe he altered the court the wrong way. What do you think? That is uh, possible. You know, it could oh be working boy. against him. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, you guys are. Uh, I think next year we're going to need another another finishing. You know, John had them do it last year. Yeah, they came. Sure. Yeah. McIntyre's came. They pounded it all in nice, right. and it was lovely gift and um, but you know we didn't do anything much this year but he's been keeping it weeded and, oh, and sure. raked yeah. and, and you know, well, it gets used you know you gotta keep it up you gotta keep it up and the winter and all that oh, sure. yeah. it's a very good hard surface so I have to say I don't know whether that's good or bad to be honest with you, you know? <laughs> Hey, we're having fun, and that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's a beautiful day. I mean, we're in the shade a little bit, so standing still, you gotta, you gotta keep a jacket on, moving around. Like, and you guys are playing it smart this year. You're, you're playing all on the same side, so you get your exercise in, walking back and forth, that's picking right. up the balls. That's right. I was wondering why it looks so different from last year. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you know. Oh, here they come. They're yeah. To yeah. We got fire apparatus yeah. and police vehicles pulling in. Yeah. You know. Yep. They know. They, they've been working on this, too. I saw them uh, practicing the past couple of weeks. Uh, on the lawn? Yeah, on the lawns out back of the oh, station, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they, yeah. Don't, they, don't, they don't mess around. All right. Yeah. If anyone takes this uh, more, it's just as serious as the seniors, it's uh, fire and police. Mm -hmm. and so you had a good talk with Rebecca about all our exercise programs. Rebecca. You know, we, we get in there, and we're, we're screaming our heads off at, yeah. at 5 o'clock down the pound class. I mean... I hope that you'll have a chance to run in and catch a little of it because yeah, we may wild. be able, we may be able to get some of it. We it depends about, how much depends how much of a break you get. <laughs> well, that's true too. We'll have to see how all this goes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so I'm, let's see. Uh, what, what was the points on that one? Oh, two more for the uh, for the Council Aging Seniors. There you go. Well, time they uh, they have zero played. They had their first ever practice for one hour yesterday, which included teaching the new people how to play. So that took five, uh, 50 minutes and 10 minutes to practice. Wow, so they should be ready to go. Yeah, well, you can tell. <laughs> it's 10 to one. 10 to one, domination. And it looks like Hank's called for a do-over. I guess it's up to 11. That's what I thought I heard down there. Oh, it's up to 11? I can't remember. At 11. It's so 11. All right, so she double faulted on the Polino. So that means the red will now toss it. Yeah, throwing out the toss will be Judy Alessio. There's a good one. Right down the middle. Let's see if she can keep it off the back wall. And she does. And of course, Judy throws out the first ball. 
I think it slipped out of her hand there. Yeah, yeah, it must have slipped. A little greasy. You know, it's they they waxed the court, so it's a little slippery. And here comes the fight. Oh, here's a good roll. Ooh, red might still be in. Red's in. A little too much mustard. A little too much mustard. What a great saying. I don't know where you ever get Isn't that from. It? A little too much relish. <laughs> no, too much relish slows things down. <laughs> and that one had too much relish. Red is stupid. you sure, Hank? <laughs> Might have to get the measuring stick to, out. Yeah. No, no sticks. No more sticks. We got a tape. You are we gonna have a spot? Yeah, this one looks like it's it. No. Oh. 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 I don't know. I, I I feel the choke coming on right now. Of course they bring the fire trucks. You know what do you expect them to drive their own cars off and then go back to the station <laughs> for a fire? Oh, well, the fire department brought the trophy with them. Yeah, we got the championship the trophy. trophy. Yep. Ooh, Red's in. Wow. Two points for Red. Let's see if Red can go get four. Cut this lead in half. Yeah, we got, uh, look at this, we got Fighter Pilot there, we got uh, Dan and John, keep a close eye, checking out their competition. They've been out practicing all day today. So, so far it's one for red. Two for red. And here comes point number three. Oh, there it is. Three for red. Look at that. And red lives another day. So that would be four total. Ten to four. The staff climbing back in. So again, unlike uh, previous years where they just uh, stayed on either side and two balls per person throwing. They decided to do one toss a piece and walk, which uh, is why the senior team is in such a good shape. Yeah, a little extra walking will help. Well, that's what it's all about. I mean, there's several ways to play this other than, other than the court. They can also play this in a yard. And when I used to go camping, we used to camp on a campground, like an open field. And we used to play across the whole field. we just throw the ball somewhere and play. And that's how you got to meet people. There you have it, folks. The bocce legend himself, Mike Terosian. A legend in my own mind. <laughs> and Phil with a nice toss oh. of the Polito. Oh, get, kept it off the backstop. It's legal. So he'll throw... He'll, he'll throw out the first ball, try to point up. And you can see, see where he's throwing from, right? He's, you got got that line marker, that's 10 feet. You can oh, only be 10 feet that. off the back wall. He's trying to bounce that's it, That's pretty. So that hit the back and rolled back, and that can't do that. So that ball is out of play. And it gives Hank something to do. And he gets up and pulls that ball out. And a little that's a little, short there. Yeah, a little wee short. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it is a breezy day. I mean, it looks beautiful out here. It is nice in the sun. But once you stand around in the shade, you're going to need a jacket. And you'll see uh, the seed just start bundling up. Yeah, the wind could have an effect on today's matchup. Red has to shoot now. Red shoots. 
Red shoots. You need to go to the review box there. Well, I figured they would argue for 10 minutes, or I would just make something up, and I did. Good job. Yeah. But yes, because the red's out of play, the green had to shoot next. So that means the green points, no matter where it lands, it's the only ball in the thing, so the red now has to go. I wasn't confused at all. Now it's a green ball. I tend to doubt that. That one looks like it slipped out of her hand a little early. Yeah. And that's NG. Oh, it hit the side first, so it's okay. Whatever that means. I never, never heard of that, hitting the side. <clears throat> oh, looks like a good roll here for Green. Oh. Stated. Still in. Yeah, that means that's a point. So green, green's in. Red has to throw. So if they don't score, the seniors will put the staff away. Judy's deciding which side to go on. Oh, a little relish on that if, one. If, if Red can't make it happen here, if Red can't make it happen here, it's all over. For the staff. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, and that looks like that's going to roll in. That could be. We're going to have to get Ooh. the tape out. So that's the 11th point. Looks like the Council on Aging is going to take the win. So they would, but are they going to throw the last ball? Sure, I'll throw the last ball. Why not? This is great already won. Well, unless she spocks it. She could spock it right just, out. She should just drop it. There she goes. Wow, nice little spin. And then it rolled back. So... So Green gets the 11th, 11th point. So I have uh, one officer right here. So no. So what? So now we got the seniors beat the staff. It was A for effort, Judy. By the way, that's that capital A for effort. Yeah. I mean, you had your one hour. You had your one hour uh, orientation training practice session. All right. So who, who's up next? So now it's supposed to be both the police and the fire department and who, whichever one of them wins, these guys play them. Okay, so we will have police versus fire, the red and the blue, mm -hmm. and whoever wins will yeah. face the gray. Right. Gotcha. Right. As long as we have all the police here. And uh, they'll be coming in, they're strolling in because it's, uh, we are 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Yes, we are. So are, we're gonna, are, so, are, yeah. are they changing shifts right now? Yeah, they should be, yeah. So okay. they should be coming right along. Okay. So, uh, Tom, while well, 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 we take a break, let's go get some watermelon over watermelon there. Some watermelon. And have a drink and, uh, Come on, I'll buy you root beer. All right, sounds good. All right, so we're going to get some root beer and watermelon. We'll be back. Welcome back to the Senior Center Bocce Challenge. It's time for a matchup between the police department and the fire department. Let's set it down to Mike DeRosian with Hank Alessio for the rules. Tom, thanks. Here we are. Hank, Hank we get some rules for the uh, fire and police match. Well, yeah, we have a few, Mike. Uh, we've been doing this for several years, so we're pretty much checked out. Yeah, we got a few new faces, though. See all these young kids out here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can see orange poles on either end of the court, and that describes the foul line. You have to uh, throw the ball from behind the foul line on either end. Just like bowling, you can't cross the line. Yeah, similar okay. to that. Yeah, this is bowling. And... Uh, this cute little ball is called the Polino. Polino. And that starts each game. And the Polino gets thrown, and it has to be more than halfway down <laughs> and within a foot from the borders. Which is indicated by those white markers in the middle. Correct. Okay. And other than that, we just alternate uh, 
teams, in this case it will be red and green, alternate who scores versus who didn't score. And you'll be calling that from the middle? Yep, and I'll have my American not metric measurement system. Okay. Just so everyone will be uh, on the key of G. And uh, we got through the last game without any fights. Well, we almost had one at the beginning. You, you, you and John were kind of going at it. We were getting a little nervous. I had to separate you two and get you a little <laughs> apple juice, and you guys were fine. Well, that's All right. why we have so, the police here. The, the, now the police are here, so there's no best around because they take it seriously. So uh, how do we get the game started? Who goes first? Oh, let's uh, start with a coin flip. If we so can a we get a sergeant? Two chiefs, here. two chiefs are here. Can we get the chiefs over here, please? Don't go too far. Get over. No, Jack, don't go too far. We'll do it here. Guys, step out of the court. I know, but you can. You guys are light. Okay. For the record, Heads is our Massachusetts born president, and the feathers are the tail. And uh, the winner will choose what set of balls and who throws the ball first. All right. Ready? And who's going to call it? Steve, because you were a winner from last year. I'll All go right. with JFK Heads. Well, okay. Yahtzee. Oh, okay. Heads it is. Victoria. Okay. All right. All right, so it looks like the uh, red team will get the, uh, I, I'm assuming, Chief, what color balls you go with? go with red. Excellent. And we'll throw the Polito first. Who will be uh, making the first talk? I'll have the police walk that way, and we'll stay here. All right. Well, no, they split up. Your teams are split up. <laughs> Oh. Two on each end. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so who's got to, who's got to throw the Polino for you? At this end. I don't know. Well, look who's here. Where, Where's my where's team? Where's your team go? Where's your team? Who wants to be lead off? Well, oh, he's got Dougie Lewis and uh, and Josiah Campbell. It looks where? like John. Oh, is it John? Is going to lead us off. Oh, John De Rivera. Yes. How come that name? That's we heard that name a lot last year. Champion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. the one. And he came out. He's, How'd you he's find got him? The reach. Yeah. yeah. In our job interview process, we look for that. You do. One of the questions. All right, so so we have John and Josiah. So who's got to throw first? Well, get up here, boys. The game's about to right. start. We'll get up here. Those those, those aren't those leather recliners you used to. Come on. Okay, you're the All right, so you're the red. I'll see you up by the Polino. We'll see you up by Polino. Tom. All right, we are ready to go. The battle we've all been waiting for, the Hopkinton Police Department and the Hopkinton Fire Department on the Bocce Courts once again. Last so year. John, who was the uh, who was the big guy last year, throws the Polino. And once we get the police out of our way, we can see how nice that went. <laughs> we don't want to get your backside. So now, John, you throw, you start with the ball. Yeah, you throw a Polino, then you try to get close to it. You were sleeping during the rule talk, weren't you? See, he's got that big lob. Get some arch on and that one. That is out of play. That comes off the board, so green throws next. Blue. That's blue, which is green. We got our scorekeeper over there? Okay. I got the board started for you. John and Josiah. Just on the side of the corner, like behind. Over here. Come over here. Stretching it out. Thank you. Oh, that's out of play. Two out. Uh, yeah. Too strong on the first couple of throws. Ooh, there we go. Looks like we may have a good one. Yeah. So red team scores. It will be Blue's throw. Blue throwing the green ball. Ooh. A little short. Matt, I heard I saw Dougie Lewis raking it. I'm not saying nothing, but I heard he raked it. But he was the only one that had a license to run a lake. So. Oh boy, that's out. Here's a good throw here. That might get in there. Feels in there for a point. Oh, maybe a little too much. 
Red's still in. Fire department so, still on the end. They have a chance for some points. Oh, uh, Red's still in, so it's blow throw. Blow, blow throw, they blow just, throw. They just threw. Red's still in. They just threw. He said Red was still in. So that means Blue already threw all those, though. They're all down there? What, they all get pulled off? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Pay attention, Mike. I'm trying to. Oh, boy. So like care boy there. They might That's have nice two line. in there. The two defending champions the on the scoreboard for us. Two points for fire. <laughs> what a start. And the winner of this will play the, the senior team. Yep, so uh, Campbell D. Rivera for the fire on this side. Fire on the other side is uh, Johnny Kraus. And uh, it was um, Pat Rahill. And so ah, not a bad throw to start. Johnny Krause with a nice eye almost uh, off the sideboard. Sideboard's and okay. This is uh is that oh, Preston? That's there Derek. It is. That's Derek Morton. Derek Morton, one of our newest officers there. He's uh he's scoring a point. Keeps that up, he'll get a raise. Patrick Ray Hill. Oh. <laughs> Green is still on the in. Last chance for Red to knock him out. Is that going to bounce? A little too much on that one. Green's going to try to rack up the points here. So it looks like they're pointing down. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Two points right there. Is it three? Let's see. Preston. Oh. Oh, that is close. Still two. You got one more. That's it. Two points. We're so knotted up at two. Tied up at two. The police get themselves on the board and answer back. Ties it back up. Look at that. Chief Lee. Chief Lee. He's offering moral support. Ryan Paul Sally throws out the Polino for the police and follows up with his first ball, which is going to spark it. I'd like to welcome my YouTube audience to the event out here at the Senior Center. If you're looking for something to do, come down and see this match. The winner of the red versus the blue plays the uh, seniors from the Council of Aging. Uh, you can also come down to the Senior Center at Sarah Open House today. Get to see That's some right. of the fun activities that they have that aren't just for seniors, they're for all the public. A lot of things going on here. I heard you'll be doing the yoga later. I am going to try the yoga. I heard it's going to be hot yoga because, uh, you know, most places are nice and warm inside. Down here it's frozen yoga. Yeah, down here it's frozen yoga because it is cold here in the shade. I have to admit, I did throw on a jacket. Fires on the in right this now. This side's McNeil with a big lob. He thinks he's playing softball. All right, so Johnny De Rivera. Oh, hold on. He's got to get off. When it hits the backboard, it's out of play. So Hank is right there. Looks like a good one. Knocks it even oh, closer. Oh, look at that. So there's two points right there so far for fire. Josiah Campbell's going to get in there. Ooh, maybe another one. Yep. There's three. Can we have four? Can we see if it's a four? Oh, a little too much. Oh, all right. Well, they got three. Not too shabby. Three points for Five fire. Five to two.
and the fire department hops right back on top. It's up to 11, must win by two. It's five to two, fire department leading right now. So you're already there, right? You're almost halfway there to 11. Oh yeah. yeah. What's, what, what's going through your mind right now? I'm thinking it'll probably just take one more round until we get to 11. One more round, that's very confident yeah, of you. We'll uh, double up on some points. You, you do know Chief Lee built a bocce car in the basement of the police <laughs> station. And these guys are pretty good. They could be just playing with you. Uh, that's definitely a possibility, but uh, We've moved one of our trucks out and have a bocce bay in the apparatus bay as well, so I wouldn't rule this out just yet. I was wondering why that trucks were parked outside all winter. Okay, that makes sense. All right, well, go get them. All right. Ooh, green on the end. Police have the end right now. That Preston, that was Preston with the throw. Johnny Kraus for the red team. Police still on the end. Ooh, knocked it right out. Looks like fire's on the end now. Send it down with, to Mike Terosian with Amy from the Senior Center. Hey, I'm here now with uh, with Senior Center Director Amy Beck. And uh, so, listen, what uh, what do you think of this match so far? Well, so far it looks like, uh, well, let's see, the fire are running it, but it's still early in the game. Yeah, well, you, you know how the fire guys are. They, they practice long and hard. They don't... They don't uh, do anything halfway. You know, I haven't seen them out here practicing at night, but they could be sneaking down here and, and trying it out, and uh, police for that matter could be as well. They just get their lights on the court every night in the dark, and they're out here. I, don't well, know. I was just talking to uh, John uh, De Rivera here, and he was telling me that they uh, have a portable bocce court that they pull out one of the trucks and put it in the apparatus bay. So oh, that's see? their secret. So other than this uh, wonderful bocce match, which the winner of this team here plays the seniors from the Council of Asian, mm -hmm. What else is going on here today? Well, today we've been... Uh, and having mind our... you, we're live on YouTube, so tell oh, everybody. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're, uh, we have our open house here tonight, or today, all day long. We've had um, some exhibition classes, exercise classes. We have some craft classes going on. Um, our knitters came in a day early to, to hang out and be in our lobby. We well, that must have took some planning to get them in you know, on a Wednesday. I think they came of their own volition. They love it here. So, <laughs> But we've had just about everything that's going on normally, and then we've added just a few extra things that, that have kind of filled out the day and kept us very, very busy. We've and, seen a lot of new faces. Yeah, And I, I've had to go inside early since it is an open house because I saw you only got the same amount of cannolis that you did last year. <laughs> So the open house could throw the thing off, so I had to keep going back in you there early. You got yours early, okay. Yes, I did. Good. They're in my that's pocket good. right now. <laughs> so so what kind of events were uh, going on uh, in the big room just now? I think we had uh, the Zumba Gold. Yeah, so we've had Zumba and our tap class have done a quick 20, 30-minute uh, exhibition class so that people can see they usually meet on different days but we wanted everyone who came by to have a chance to see what's going on so right. we've got a lot of fun stuff now, now this isn't just for seniors this is for everybody this is for everybody right, because is people are eligible as long as there's room in the courses anyone for the public is a resident is eligible exactly we do allow seniors to go first and yep. so if there's a Absolutely. class too full with with seniors and then, then we'd have to say no but it is open to the public um, yep. we love having people come down we have started a Wednesday night which is going on tonight this yes. evening as well um, so that we have our Wednesday evening program which has some really busy classes we've got a bar class we've got a pound yep. class and you know we now, want to make sure to keep everyone active now here's a tough question how do people find out about what goes on here? Okay, well that's an easy one. If you go to our website, which is the town website, and look up the Senior Center, you can get a link to our newsletter. Um, if you're 60 and over, you're already on our mailing list. And so we've been sure. sending it to you, and make sure you check it out. We have our new October is about to come out in the next couple weeks, and there's... Every month we've got something new, but we've got the same old standbys as well. So. And the name of this newsletter is? The Hopkinton Hilltopper. That's right, Hopkinton Hilltopper. You can get it, like I said, right from the website. You, you can um, 
uh, view a PDF version right there, mm -hmm. or you can uh, request it in the mail. And of course, if you're at that ripe old age of 60, which I'll be a few years away from, <laughs> I'll be getting in my mailbox automatically. It's great. I, we come to you in any way you want it, and right. if you're in town, you're definitely on the mailing list. So That's, that's fantastic. All right, so it looks like the uh, red team just scored again. Oh my goodness, four more points, Tom. Four points. Yeah, they got four points last round. It was nine to two, and... Right. Not quite sure what happened in this round. Oh, so they scored two? I did, I, oh, I was talking that long? Wow, so the fire... <laughs> I guess fire already won. All right, so, uh, so we're going to ask, you know, with this oh. year being your first year, no, no. No, this is his first year. I'm a, I'm a seasoned vet. I don't remember what seeing it last year, yeah, but see, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't remember him at all. So since he walked away, the chief's right here, and the chief will also talk to me as well because he loves he loves the microphone. So what happened? I mean, I talked for two minutes with the director about what's going on here today, and next thing you know, the game's over. What happened? I think the fire department has more time on their hands to practice, and I don't know. So that's, next that's year, there's time, always next time. year. All right, so they what time to practice, but then again, you're also saying they're spending all their time in those leather recliners. So can you have it both ways? Uh, maybe, depends. Maybe there's an app for that? I don't know. Is it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, check. Chief, what? What? Really? Uh, a lot of rule changes this year we weren't aware of. The game's on the protest. Protest. This is. You can tase him. <laughs> You're gonna see it here first. <laughs> the first tasing. So that, that I can't believe how fast that went. Normally yeah, this quick. normally this is a long game. Yeah. Huh? The, the seat. The, <laughs> that was 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes. Yeah. The seniors game went for 45. I don't know I, what to say. Well, Tough loss. Well, <laughs> what? Who are you voting for for uh, the next game? Oh, the seniors all the way. Seniors. Yeah, seniors. The seniors? <laughs> seniors. You want to do that? Who are we voting for? Seniors or the firemen? <laughs> <laughs> Seniors. All right. Well, listen, why don't you go freshen up, grab some sandwiches, oh, yeah. some cannolis in there, save me one, will okay. All right. Tom, the, uh, this game went kind of fast. I wasn't expecting it. Certainly this. did. You know, we had, uh, I turned around, it was, uh, it was, oh, they already got rid of it. Yeah, wow. 11 to 2 I, was the I, final. I think the Chief just tore it down and ripped it all up. But they, I can't believe how fast that went. And I just talked to, it'd be back two seconds to tell them what's going on. You know, I don't even think we have enough people tuned into YouTube yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, it was, I did not expect a blowout like that. Wow. Pretty crazy. Well, look at all the smiles on the faces over there. I never, I never seen the deputy so happy. <laughs> you know, look at, look at the, I mean, look, look at the celebration. I never seen the deputy, last time I saw the deputy this happy is when he won a raffle for the chief of the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I saw that. That was a... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the and uh, hey guys, just watch the trucks. Make sure there's no tickets on there when you go, because these guys are they're terrible. But oh my goodness! So maybe we're gonna see a a, a, um, a trophy ceremony later with the police hand it over to you. Uh, we'll, see. we'll see what happens. I think he just went for a ticket book, is what I thought. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I heard something about cannoli, so we're gonna sign off. Right. Tom, we're gonna get ready. We got the big match. Everyone went inside to freshen up. We got fire versus the seniors for the final. Yeah, that's right for the uh, that's for the championship. So we'll see which maybe way we'll goes. see the seniors yeah. with the upset. The seniors are coming out. They look pretty good this year. Come on, start warming up now. Get ready. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be back in probably about uh, 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we'll come back to YouTube. Sounds good. All right. Welcome back to the senior center. We are ready for the championship matchup between the Council on Aging and the. Hopkinton Fire Department, the fire department dominating the police, 11 to two. Very impressive win by the fire department, certainly the most dominant victory we've seen by the fire department in this bocce challenge. It's exciting stuff out there, Bob. Yeah, the police team was pretty weak today. I didn't see much out of them. The fire department pretty much destroyed them at the end. Yeah, it was like the Patriots versus the Dolphins out there. So right now we're getting the uh, the Council on Aging team ready. Mike Terosian down there getting the names, and they'll take on the fire department, and the winner of that matchup will take home the championship trophy. It 
It's been dominated by the fire department or police the last five or six years. So the seniors looking for their first championship win here today. And for those of you that don't know, it's a open house here at the Hopkinton Senior Center. A whole lot of activities going on, so if you're looking for something to do, come on down. You'll also get a chance to check out this bocce championship. We're, we're already going. We're going to do the coin toss now, Hank Alessio. I'll get down, hold the mic. Who is our rules aficionado for the bocce challenge. I see this called heads. Heads is the call. Heads is the answer. Heads is the flip. So what color balls will you take? They got the green, fire will have the red, and green will throw first. All right, and listen, no fighting. These kids here, I know they don't look too tough, but I can tell you they can handle themselves, ladies. All right, I think they're ready. We're ready to go. We're back on YouTube. The bocce championships. Fire Big department. Championship. This yeah. is this is something different. Normally it's red versus blue, but yep. today we're going red versus gray. Fire department and the Council of Aging. It's a good throw here of the Polino to start things off. And Jones whips that down there. A nice throw there, about ten yards off center. I'm still in shock, Mike, ten about that fire department, police department matchup. That went so fast, it was it was incredible. And, you know, I had, I've been trying to do uh, my interviews in between games, and I didn't even get a chance to stop for Cannoli. I don't feel bad for you. You should. <laughs> I love Cannoli. Oh! Johnny Krause there just sneaks it right in. Like it was nothing. So the fire department starts off on the end. Pretty good throw here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sticks it right in. I don't know. That's close. We're going to get a measurement. It looks, looks green in here, but he's saying fire. He's got his tape measure. Where would he have that stick? I, I do. I just want to beat him with the stick. I think it was terrible. <laughs> green is in. All right, so uh, looks like Patrick will throw for the red. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ah, a little too much. Well, I, I blame that on the youth. You know, he's, he's just so young. Oh, here we go. But the senior man oh, the sneaks it in. Oh, I don't know. That's close. I That's think Green still has it. Yep. We're getting a measurement. I think Green's going to get the point here. It's my guess. Green's in. Green is in, but we're not done. Patrick Rayhill has his last ball. Oh, boy. And we still have uh, two more for uh, the seniors. We still have uh, uh, Rita to throw. Getting another measurement. Still green. Could have more points here. It's a good roll there. Ooh, that looks like it's going to push it closer. Ooh, we might have two in. Wow. Uh-huh. Hey, look, at, look at the look on Captain Krause's uh, face there. He is like, what, what's, what's happening here? This isn't how it's supposed to go. We beat the cops. Well, the seniors came ready to play this year, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll say. I think they just got two points. I think so, too. Let's see what happens here. And the answer is make it quicker, heck. That blood is flowing to your head too fast right now. Look how ready he is. 
It's a tie. Tie. How does that work? It's called a tie. It, it means no points. They know so one out. for. So it's one nothing for the the seniors. For the seniors. One for the one for the green. One for the green, Hank. One for the green. All right, Johnny Krause, come over here. So it was a tie on that you, other ball. This, no, no, face the camera here. You oh, got to yeah. face the fans at home. What is going on here? You, you, is, you decided like to keep the same team, yeah. but you decided to change it. Why did you decide that? You're the senior man here. Why did you decide this? Well, we always like to switch it up. Oh, I like to kind switch it up. Kind of take a different attack. All right, I, I hear it differently because my other ear heard something about he made me do it. No, 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 no. Patrick had nothing to do with this? Patrick didn't have anything to do with it. The other two down there did, but we, yeah, we like to switch it up a little bit. And, okay, so. Uh, see so, what happens. So it's not paying Jose. off right now, but I think it's going to pay off. Yeah, well, they're going to do something. I mean, you can't count on John to carry this team two years in a row. Although, <laughs> he's that. doing a pretty good job right now. Look at that. Tucked it in right behind, you know? Perfect right there. Yeah, and uh, Jose is focused, too. He's Look at him. He's watching every move every make, everyone makes. He's, I think he's counted the pebbles in the uh, court. We practice. All right. Well, let's try to uh, straighten this up and uh, get the red team back on track, okay? I think we can do it. All right. Good luck. Thank you. So red is on the in right now. Ooh, this could be a good throw. Oh, <laughs> Green is right in there. That is right on the Polino. <laughs> Ted, Ted Gorman there with that beautiful toss. It looks like oh, we're going to get a little spark action. That's that... two green. Now it's two for green. <laughs> yeah, they're going to, they, the only thing, the only thing they can do is spark. Still out. Ooh, red's on the end. <laughs> oh! I think that red's still in. Yeah. It's so red going for some extra points, the fire department. Not enough on that one. No, need a little more mustard on that one, Josiah. One for red, one for the fire. We're knotted up at one apiece. I tell you, a little bit of a nail biter here going on. We got a scorekeeper. And, uh, we got a scorekeeper? Where's the scorekeeper? I think she fell asleep. I think the scorekeeper fell asleep. Did I mention the scorekeeper fell asleep? <laughs> Ashley, did I mention? Ashley, do you know where the scorekeeper went, Ashley? One for, one, one for the fire. Wow. Well, we got to give her kind of some slack. She is new. I got cut some slack. She's new. So unlike the last match, Tom, this here is a little bit more tighter. There's a lot more defense being played. Right. Um, you know, the seniors in the fire never faced each other before. So they both have two styles that they're not used to. That's very true. Clearly, the fire department showed today they have the police department's number in this bocce challenge. Ooh, here's a good roll. This could get nice interesting. by Joe, but she sparked uh, red just a little closer to Polino. That's uh. Hey, look at the gentleman there. That Johnny is. He ends the balls to the. Oh, this is a good position. roll here. Oh, great roll. Oh! Took a last minute turn. This is going to be a tough shot. A great bounce off the side, but too far. And that green's out of play. Hits the wall. Oh, she's going for the Spock. Oh, Great wow. Holy cow. Rita with the Spock. That was our Spock of the day. Yep. Uh -oh. That was our stop and shop Spock of the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh! Right idea. Ooh, we might have two green in now. Nope. I don't know. They're going to get one, though. Two to one. one for Council three. of Aging. So let's see, it'll either be uh, Ted or Gloria down there for the for the seniors. That will throw. It looks like Ted's gonna throw the Paulino again. He's got a he's got a nice little style with it. The seniors have already scored as much points as the police department did today. Fire department bringing in Good first roll there. Ooh, do we have fire on the end? No. Oh, too much on that one. So. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful day. We got the seniors against day. the Fires. Mm -hmm. Two championship yeah. teams playing each other for the first time. And this is your first bocce tournament. It is. It is my first bocce tournament. My very short-lived bocce career. Um, you saw it unfold today. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was. It was tough to watch, but we did get through it. Um, we're, Not pretty. That's for sure. It wasn't pretty. You guys did good. Like you said, you had an hour orientation slash practice yesterday. We did have an you know? hour's worth of instruction <laughs> yesterday. I think for. For that one hour, we made the most of it and had a lot of fun. So what do you think of the senior team? Oh, the senior team, they're on fire. They are so They are they, on fire. They're excellent. They are They are excellent. And, uh, and they are going up, and this is literally the youth of the uh, Hopkins Fire Department that's playing today. I know. I mean, you can't get much younger than this. Any no. more younger than this here, they're still in carriages. Yeah, well, that's just it. You know? And so uh, they better watch themselves. The senior team's on fire. Look at it. Yeah. They got four points right there. Yep. It's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. So, so now, uh, how's the open house going? The open house is great. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on. Wonderful food out. Um, it's it's really wonderful. I had a lot of traffic today. That's great. So, that is yeah, great. so it's go it's going really, really well. So if for the people who don't know, what do you do here? So my name is Lisa Dion, and yep. I uh, work as one of the outreach coordinators with yep. uh, the other outreach coordinator is Marlene Troops. Yep. And so basically I see ourselves as um, problem solvers. So, um, so in other words, I'm having trouble with, uh, uh, with uh, my gas bill and so forth, and then you guys send me in the right direction. That's it. That's absolutely it. Yep. And uh, or you, so fuel assistance. It's yep. that time of year again. People yep. getting their fuel assistance. Well, how uh, do I how do I change my doctors around and stuff like that? Absolutely. And how Even you know I've helped people uh, and, and advocate for folks to get. Um, you know, sort of a lesser cable rate. I mean, every day is, is sort of different, but we do help people with um, housing issues, um, SNAP benefits. Yep. Um, we work a lot with adult children uh, when their parents need care. Um, so, you know, the, the whole um, home health care. So you're, not, you're just living. not seeing seniors, you're seeing oh, no. regular adults no, that I, I, need I, senior yeah, issues. I think, solved. right. And, and, you know, we're so lucky that, you know, Aging is such a normal part of life, right? And and so, but with that, you know, people need extra support. And so we're here as a support system um, for seniors and their family members who are caring for them as well. Right. So the way we can find you is just to visit or call the Senior Center? Yes. 497-9730? Yes. That's it. That's simple. Just yep. give a call. and Because, uh, I mean, the services, I mean, that you can, I mean, I know when my mother came around and, and she needed help. Uh, they arranged uh, travel for dialysis. Oh, uh, they it was just amazing. Meals they did, uh, just uh, visits and house cleaning. You know, things, little things that you don't think about. That oh, absolutely. And uh, we have tremendous volunteers here too um, that help with the medical transportation. Right. Um, it, it's great. It's honestly the the combined effort that's here is absolutely amazing. It's. Such a gem. Being, you know, a newer person coming on board, I'm, um, I'm just so I feel so fortunate. Yeah, there's lots going on here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so, great. When in doubt, call us. When in doubt, call the Senior Center. 508-497-9730. Okay. We'll look for them online. So, Tom, how's, how's the action going out there on the court? Well, the fire department struck back in that last go-around. 
The seniors took a six to one lead, but then the fire department got three points on that last go around. It's six to four now. Well, you know, the, you never quit. When you're a fireman, you never quit. So they will, they will fight in battle to the end. This has been a good matchup. Yeah, I like the last one. The last one would have been over by now. Seniors are on the end. Uh, I hear a lot of uh, cheering going on by the police for these seniors. These, the, the police really want these seniors to come out on top. It's the fire department on the end right now. They might have two in there. Oh, the seniors came roaring back, but fire is still on the end. <laughs> Fire still has one, maybe two in there. Yeah. Uh, I, I see two, but uh, don't don't count Ted out. Oh boy, he just made oh. it one point. He just made it one point for the red. We're right gonna there. need a measurement right so, there. But Red still has two balls to throw. So does he go defense or does he go offense? Oh, look at, the, look at the conversation. They're talking strategy. Yeah. Look confused. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Ooh. That's right. That wasn't it. In. They're if trying they to spark that green ball. Yeah, they get, if they spark that green one, there's a good chance for two. I think in they the two, they need it to tie. They want to spark the green ball and have the green ball spark the Polino. No, he looks like he's going to, oh, he wanted to curve that in. They'll take the point. Six to five. Seniors still ahead. This one could go to overtime, Mike, with the way it's going. Absolutely. We might have to turn the lights on. We got the lights, Chief? Can we get the rescue out here with the lights? We'll get some lights going. Thank you, Chief. No, <laughs> it's too cold for mosquitoes. Johnny Krause, the, the, the senior captain of the team, because he's a senior guy by like two months. I think if you add all their experience together, you get like three years. Oh, there's a good roll there. A little too much. Uh, a little too much, Joe. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. See, he's there with a nice point. See how Patrick does. Johnny Krause looking for that defensive move. Not enough. I mean, he looks like he's in shape, but he's young. You know, he does, doesn't put enough on it. And yeah, that's going to get stuck in a row. No, not enough there. So the seniors have yeah. a chance to get some points. I'm an optimist, but I smell two more points coming. That's all I can say. Oh boy. Yep. There's one. This could either this could be good. Yep. Oh, it's right in there. <laughs> Take sweep the leg. <laughs> There's another good roll. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. oh, oh. I, I it must, I must have ESPN or something because did I just say three points? 
three for the seniors, Whoa. and it's nine to oh. five. I I tell you, I never see Chief Slavin frown before, ever. He's always got a smile on his face like his lovely mother. Like his lovely mother here, who, uh, you, must be, you must be torn right now here. You oh, have your, I am. You got your friends and then you got your uh, fellow Red Team members. Yeah, the Chief does not like to lose. No, not at all. I, I used to play pitch with him, and he was always crying when he lost. Mm-hmm. He does cry. Yeah. yeah. So what? Uh, so so who 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 are you voting for? Who are you going for? The seniors. Seniors, without a doubt. Yeah, Steve, you don't stand a chance. Everyone turned your mom against you. I feel bad for the um, for the firemen though, because the police are going to kill him. No, they can't happen. <laughs> oh, I've already heard their plans. Oh no, they. What, will they play again? No, if the if the fire loses. Oh, if the fire loses, to the yeah. To the seniors. Yeah, yeah. That's trouble. Yes, it is going to be trouble. I heard uh, the police are going to get the hoses on him with the, all the firemen down. Something. They have plans. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Well, Cal, thank you very much. Oh, anytime. Hey, do you notice the police officers got away from Chief Lee? They're not even around anymore. They're hiding. I, no, I think I think they had to go to work, Chief. Yeah. Chief, they they. they <laughs> Ooh, the seniors oh, on the oh, end. Oh. Wow. Wow. So how you like that decision changing sides now, John? Okay. Just saying. You really gonna do that, buddy? He is. Oh. oh. Too much. Ah, but that's one point instead of three. I don't know. Might need a measurement. Maybe get Josiah here to change oh, it up. All that. Oh! oh! That could be one point. That might but, be two. But you got. Well, you got a red. That might closer. be two. I know, but you still got Ted throwing, so. Uh, we might need a measurement. Oh, this one's in. Oh, a little. Uh, we'll, we'll see what Hank says. That's a definite. I think. That's the game! Wow! Oh, the fireman gets smoked by the seniors! Holy cow! Can you believe it? <laughs> the Council of Aging, the seniors it? team takes it all. Wow! Unbelievable. Holy cow! So. So, I mean, your seniors came through here. What do you they, think? They did. I tell you that there's 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 uh, cheering all over the Look senior center this. right now. Wow. I'll tell you, it, it's the best thing that could have happened today. <laughs> and all the firemen shaking hands. What a good, good bunch of sports. They're gracious losers. Yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah. But the, the seniors finally took it. So. You know what? I, I just talked to uh, Deputy Chief Miller, and he says, hey, at least we didn't lose to the police. <laughs> That's what he said. He said that. I'm telling you. All right, well, so you know what? Now we're on the board. We, we will be on the plaque this the year, plaque. so this is great. And yeah, the trophy gets to stay here. That's right. We get to show that one off. That's great. Chief, what what, what happened? How'd your team fall apart here? I got to call the police and report a beating because this was bad. <laughs> we just took it bad. Oh, I tell you. How I, does that happen? I think there's been some practice going was on. It, was it the changing of the sides? You think that screwed it up for the red team? I think there's been some practicing going on. Okay. Boy. Well, I tell you. Well, let's let's get everyone together for a nice picture. All, right. all the seniors, all, right. all the fire, the police that are still here. Oh, okay. Big group picture. All right, we're gonna take a group picture, Tom. Uh, everyone's happy. They certainly are. They got the trophy out. The seniors will get the trophy this year. The seniors beat the senior center staff. The fire department defeats the police department, and then the seniors take down the fire department in the bocce challenge. And the seniors will go on the championship plaque. Guys, we need more people in the picture. So we'll keep it going here while they get the group together for a nice group picture. A great bocce challenge. Just filled with upsets. Yeah, we'll get the, come and drink. We'll get the group together, everyone's smiling, right? There we go. Everyone look at this way. Why is Junior hiding? 
Do we have the trophy presentation? Okay. Well, we hadn't appointed anybody. So that makes you, since y'all holding it. <laughs> All right. Senior. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, that's scoreboard. I got it already. We need the scoreboard. It's all in the paper. Make sure they remember that. It's already gone out on the internet. I'm going to put that right on your Twitter feed. Congratulations. No, you're not. I'm not allowing it. You changed the password, can you? Oh, boy. Absolutely. There you have it. The seniors take home the trophy. And that is going to do it for yeah. a great bocce challenge. I tell you, look at, look at the, everyone's got a smile on their face. The winners, the losers, everybody, it's a good time. And there's it plenty of food. Is. They know there's a leave is inside. They're able, and I'm going in for that cannoli. Absolutely. Well, another fun year. But that's going to do it. The seniors are the bocce champions. For Mike Terosian, I'm Tom Nappy. Bob on camera. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.